Hello and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2 following my career. Fuck bar freights now under the SD Logistics umbrella. We are still in, it was Latvia, this is where we went. We went, <laughs> we're in Latvia in a place called, uh, how do we pronounce that? Gavpils, I believe. And I've found us a quick little job today. Uh, working for the, the Baltic logging company I believe I'm um, going to tow some logs so I'm going to head over there, hook it up and we'll be on our way, let's go we've arrived, it is the Baltic Forest Company, so we are a lovely little sawmill up here and we are delivering um, to a place, I think it's called Bulva Bulva, Bulva and it's only about 120, 125 miles away, so this is a pretty short run but I figured it'd be something different something different on the log of what we're running which is what I need now need some versatility and variety let's back ourselves up let's go. Even, even that is made harder by my sticky accelerator Now, I was contemplating a few weeks back when I first saw it. Uh, there is a a new wheel and side panel that is uh, coming out that has done or has been designed and made in partnership with Farming Simulator and the guys at Giants. And it's by, um, I want to say Hoddy, Honey, Honey, something like that. Get ready to turn. And it it looks like it could be all right, Turn right. And, and that's sort of, you know, all right. It's got a lot of features that look really good. The wheel has an indicator stick and stuff like that. The side panel, I think in, in total there's something like 78 customizable buttons plus a joystick to control things with it's you know in in part similar to the side panel that I already used the uh, Logitech side panel formerly the Cytex side panel uh, we have the uh, the stick on there which um, my good friend Simi Dad uses for his camera I do keep thinking about switching mine over to to camera on the stick for trucking because my mouse does fall asleep and it, you know we have issues I go with grab but we often do that apologies so um yeah, I might look to uh, to bring the camera over to the stick. But anyway, back to this 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 cell. And I was thinking, try and hold out because it doesn't come out for a month or two. I don't think. I was gonna. I think it's November. I was gonna wait and see the um, the real giants and farm sim fanboys, the ones that will buy anything that are giants. You know, those giants partners. They'll be all up on it and telling you how fantastic it is. I want to wait and see some real reviews. Because Haddy, that's who it is, Haddy. I've had peripherals from them before, and I'm not gonna lie, they were dog shite. They 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 felt cheap. They broke very quickly, and it was they they were just nasty. And yeah, so with the price of this wheel and side panel, and uh, it comes with pedals, obviously. I think it's like 360, which you know. To some people, sounds a lot. For a wheel and side panel setup that's brand new, that's not a lot. So I would question the quality of it because it's actually pretty cheap. The side panel is the only bit I'm really interested in, but I do need um, a new a new new set of pedals anyway from a um, G920. My wheel is fine, but the pedals are just you know seen better days I think they're just permanently sticky on the on the accelerator I've I've cleaned it out I've done all sorts with it. I banged it out took all the dust out as Lynn said it's all them crumbs in there I don't eat in my PC room there's no crumbs in there I don't know what's in there um, but yeah back to this so 
again, once again, like I said last episode, I think um, Sumi's dad does a lot of investigate and gets invested in, in knowing about stuff and finding stuff out. He went on and got the uh, FAQ for it and stuff, and there are no plans to release the side panel on its own because it's part of the set and it's all built in together. Then um, I only want the side panel. The wheel looks so cheap. If if anyone remembers the original was a heavy equipment pack that the Logitech side panel came in when back when it was SciTech, and it was a SciTech heavy equipment pack that was built in partnership with uh, Farm Sim and Giants, I believe. The wheel and pedal were awful. The only thing that was good was the side panel, and eventually the side panel started to get sold. Excuse me, sold on its own, and that's why so many people run. Uh, a Logitech or a Thrustmaster wheel with the Logitech side panel. I'm going so quick. Um, so yeah, I'm going to wait until there's some real reviews, not not giant partner fanboy view, reviews, because they will they will do everything they can to get in on um, you know some sort of partner program, kickback. If people click a link through them and go buy the product. Then they'll they'll get suffering for they'll they'll t they'll tell you it's worth creaming your pants over, and um, when it's not, just so they can get paid. But I want some actual tech people to review it, who who review wheels. Um, there, there's a few guys out there. I, I can't think of them off the top of my head because I've been looking into wheels and stuff that I've been looking at. Because I do like to do a bit of sim racing sometimes, not not like competitively or anything like that, just for myself, and. Um, a new wheel and, and, and pedal would be great for some a set of Corsa and, and you know, Automobilista and stuff like that. It does make it hard to do anything when uh, when your accelerator gets stuck all the time. Uh, this is going to get a race speed, by the way, um, Sumi Dad, when you're watching. I do apologise, this will be a race speed run because... I keep going too quick. This is a 31 mile an hour road and it feels like it should be more. It's now going to be more. Go on a 50. Yeah, so that that Haddy wheel and side panel thing, like I say, it looks like if you were to look at it, just the picture, go, oh man, that looked cool. Then you start to look at it and think the price, the company that are making it, the history of products that have been made in partnership with and for the game. I, I'm not overly optimistic for it. Also turns out the wheel has no force feedback, so that's a massive negative, in my opinion. Um, I hate when I, because I play SnowRunner, and every time I have to window out to do something, SnowRunner loses force feedback, and I absolutely hate that. I, I Why have a wheel if, you, if it doesn't feel like a wheel? Farm Sim can be a pain in the ass for that. It already loses, and I, I guess this is why maybe the wheel that's made in partnership with Giants and Farm Sim doesn't have force feedback because the game doesn't really support force feedback properly. It says it's got force feedback and there's um, spring centering and, and all that stuff in the settings but you, I always have to go into the LG hub and reset mine uh, and, and set it up that it's running a game without force feedback which is annoying. Because and it will just pop off like you'll be driving along and everything will be going fine, and then suddenly, oh, it goes loosey goosey, and you nearly snap your arm as it spins round. So we'll, we'll see. It, it may be a case of saving up for a, for a, for a brand new set of um, Logitech, like I say, Logitech or Thrustmaster or something. I would just like something that has a few more buttons, especially for like farming. I love everything to be close to hand. My keyboard sits beyond my wheel. It's only, you know, it's not only just in reach. I'm, you know, I'm a six foot two, six foot three man. I can reach, but oh, the wipes on. But it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's not the most convenient way of playing. I know some people play with their keyboards on the side, but then I always get my WASD wrong. It wouldn't feel natural. It has to be in front for me. Hence why I play a lot of games with my control pad uh, rather than keyboard and mouse. Now, I need to have a slow bit here, so we're just going to go 
down this road at like 35 because if not I am going to be on race time we've got plenty of time to do the job we're just going to cruise in the rain we're taking it easy we've got a, a load of logs let's not let's not do anything too risky what do you say mate hey hey you love it so yeah still still pedal issues I'm sure I could just probably I'm not sure if you can actually if you brought just pedals that would be because someone's broken their wheel, I think, or they are refurbished. But well, I'd say if you were to buy a brand new set of, for Logitech and a Logitech side panel, you'd be cl looking closer to like five, six hundred pounds rather than three hundred and fifty quid. Same with Thrustmaster. So again, that's why I dubious as to the three hundred and fifty, three hundred and sixty price tag on a wheel pedal and larger, more extensive side panel. So, you know, just be aware of that. If you're someone that's already out, already seen it, or a little bit excited about it and haven't really done the research into it, or don't know the company that have made it, um, yeah, I, I would say hold out. I've, I've seen people, as soon as um, one particular uh, farm sim trendsetter posted about the wheel and panel, I saw people jump on in the comments, I've already ordered it, thanks for sharing, I've pre-ordered, I've pre-ordered. It doesn't come out, for, at the time of that, it didn't come out for like two and a half, two months, two and a half months. And But because this particular person is posted about it, their community are already, you know, committing money to it. Like, you, you people need to do the research a bit more and know about the stuff. Always do a bit of research, especially, I mean, like I say, it, for what you're getting, it sounds cheap. But on a grander scheme of things, 350 quid for most people, that's not cheap. So if people are oh, buy that, pre-order that. I know you can cancel it, but pre-order it. Just be careful. You don't want to waste your money. And I know a lot of people will uh, say things on, on social media and stuff like that. Yeah. Just because they want people to think they have brought it. Oh someone shares something oh i brought that because they can't say i've already got it so they have to say i've pre-ordered it just to say that they you know they have there's always those people oh coming a bit quick now oh 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 ow <laughs> bollocks i don't know what the fine was for that but it weren't good no doubt trucks all right though my new truck Full bars and everything kept safe. They're all good. People on that bus must have shit their pants. I did. Did you hear me? <laughs> this was supposed to be a nice, short, easy job. That's why I went for it. 122 miles. I was, I was busy talking about something else and not concentrating. I was approaching slow as well. We just didn't slow down. In the rain, we got the inertia, you see, from the logs. I needed to be more aware of my braking distance in the rain with my load. But I thought I'd hop on today, get a quick one in. Uh, the boys at nursery, I've got some editing to do today, so not a lot of time for recording need to get the editing done so i can let that run this afternoon while we're we're out doing our thing and having a having a play and a bit of fun um so yeah just a short run i was hoping for a more successful one than this get ready to turn right. right i'm ready i'm ready this time i am we're slowing down balvi that's where we are right. what do i call it balva Volvo. <laughs> yeah, nice and easy, nice and easy. There we go. And we didn't curb, but look at that. See, sometimes, if I pay a bit of attention, I can drive. Turn left. When I'm too busy ranting about something, then not so much. Nice and tight. Hug it in. Booty, booty. I think since I'm back out on the continent, I might need to get myself another truck with a left-hand drive. Just to put me more over there. I don't think the right-hand drive serves me well. 
when I'm out in Europe. I mean, I think our average speed will be fine for for the job. It's just a shame that we're going to have a big, big fine on the impact, and I'll have to apologise again for that. I'm, I might at the point of recording this, I might be number one delivery driver in the VTC, but it comes at a cost. <laughs> Being active isn't cost effective at all times. Just gotta take it easy through the village. Nice to have a bit of rain. Had a nice bit of rain on the way to Spain in one of my test runs last week, so. Turn them off. There we are. Go straight. And we're dropping it off at another lumber company. It is um, Baltic Forest again. Is up, boys? Finally, I know he's not happy about that. He, he is not happy about the impact. All right, mate. Oi, Gustav. All right, all right, Brav. Yep. Where are we going? Where are we going? We're over there somewhere. If we, uh, if we get the drone out. Which way are we facing? Um, I think, I think we might be able to get round the back there. Get the bloody drone out, whatever, mate. Let's go. A little bit of fresh air in. Open a window. Hear the revs. I'm hoping I can get around the back here and just slot myself in. That is what I'm hoping. Because if not, that could be a bit of a pain in the bum of a parking job. Baltic Forest. I wonder if they've got a little sawdust job for me afterwards in that. Delivering some wood chips. Still might require a little back and forth on this one, but... Better than now. Won't want to be the guy that's got to unload the logs. Right. Easy does it, Mr. Farquhar. Yes. Nice. Just like that, lad. Just like that. Let's get this dropped off. Where are we? 20 more buttons. More buttons to forget. That was 123 miles. Six, uh, four hours and six minutes. Um, seven grand. I don't know what we lost. Uh, the the fine indicator didn't pop up. Oh, there, job done. And like I say, just a quick one today, so we'll be jumping straight out with. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Sorry about the crash, Sim, your dad, and the rest of the guys at SD Logistics. If you want to come join us, there'll be a link down in the description. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when the videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day, and hopefully I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.